Hello my Sock Universe for a slightly different video and since it's a slightly different video let's do a channel first and reverse first I'm wearing the still current Liverpool jersey, the last one by New Balance and yeah um, I re acquired this recently there's a video of me unpacking it and this was one of the few that I did not really get on super cheap but I at least did not pay full price for it and that was kind of the idea when that I'm always going for, although for special shirts I am willing um, to shell out the money if it's really worth it to me then I as well might do so. But you know, uh, this Liverpool shirt I think I bought for around 50 euros and that brings me to the first um, time I knew that this is now a hot jersey because you know Liverpool won uh, the championship for the first time in 30 years that was the reason I wanted to have it to be honest because I always liked the New Balance jer jerseys I wanted to have a New Balance jersey I liked the design and uh, with it them uh, breaking a 30 euro long wait I think it was well worth getting that jersey so what I did is I actually I. I would have even uh, bought it from the Liverpool store, to be honest, uh, if the store would not have crashed on me. I was that that set on this jersey. However, what I realized is when I Google, uh, when I googled that jersey and you know, buy Liverpool uh, 1920 home jer jersey, li uh, they listed actually the results. Um, uh, you pay that much here, you pay that much here. And then I found it from actually an Austrian uh, site. Uh, I think 11 team sports or something like that who also gave me free shipping if I pay anything above 50 I think uh, 52 53 whatever I paid for that one um, and I bought it which brings me to the first tip uh, and this was now especially exacerbated by Corona the season is coming to an end uh, stores don't want to carry old jerseys which is something that drives me mad I will come maybe back to that a little bit uh, Usually towards the end of the season, unless it's a super successful jersey or a very, very special one that everyone wants to have, uh, Nigeria award, whatever, towards the end of the season, you usually get them for uh, at least half price. Or with a, let's say, a serious discount. I mean, it depends on the jersey. So I would, if there's a jersey that you really would like to have, and um, my very, very, very first tip is be patient. If there's something you want to have, um, don't rush it. If you need to have it immediately, you might have to, if, especially if it's a current jersey, you might have to shell out the books. Uh, it's as simple as that. However, uh, if you're patient and uh, can wait for a little bit, because you say, yeah, maybe um, not all of them will sell, or it's so popular and then suddenly will not sell out. I mean, uh, there are teams, um, what was a recent example? I want to act, act actually Iceland. I think the Iceland World World Cup uh, jerseys were like produced in masses because everyone wanted to have an Iceland jersey and then Iceland flamed out of the World Cup and suddenly you got them for dirt or cheap. I still didn't get it because I didn't like the design. But you know, just one example. Uh, or if it, you know, a recently promoted team, yeah, they want to ship all the jerseys. I'm sure you can get Norwich jerseys for relatively cheap at this very moment if you like the current design. So uh, end of the season and there you can also go to the big manufacturer stores like Adidas store, Nike store or whatever. Um, I've got a Roma jersey, the one with the flash uh, over. Um, they are selling it currently at the Nike store for 50% off and then they had an additional 30% at the beginning of the month and I just, yeah. I got it for 40 bucks, maybe more than I usually want to uh, pay. I usually say for a jersey, I limit myself you usually 30 euros unless it's something special. So that's kind of the idea. And now is the end of the season, when the new season, the new jerseys come in, then the old jerseys need to get out. And you see this also in stores, especially for uh, national teams, it's even more because they have usually a shelf life of two years. And come to the end of the sec second year, you usually get a good, uh, you can get good deals on jerseys that have been around for a while. Now, I'm sometimes frustrated with certain stores that they only, I was uh, the local store here that sells jer uh, jerseys, they usually don't go below 40 
sometimes even only 50 and you really have to wait it out I even talk I talked talk, talk, guys I can I can help you I said yes I would like to have this jersey however uh, you charge about 10 euros or, or 20 euro euros too much and say I cannot do much 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 but I said if this hits 30 I'm gonna buy it I was that city jersey which I end, eventually ended up buying for I think 33 because of a discount and I said okay for the three bucks I'm not gonna go there so general rule you need to have all the online stores and uh, you also have to be careful I um, I we have and I, I don't know if there is the certificate outside of the of the German speaker world, but here uh, German speaker world, there's this trusted e-shops this is something we'll, we'll, we'll look for if there's an online seller of sports gear um, unless it is like the big stores Adidas Nike and uh, Puma or whatever you might either have to notice that this store actually exists or there needs to be some sort of source of certification if there's an online store where everything is on sale and then I'm usually getting already a little it's a little bit suspicious especially if the prices are too good if it's too good to be true it's usually it's usually you get a fake and I'm unfortunately I have gotten my fair share of fakes which will enable me to make another video soon of how to spot real choices what difference real fake and whatever and even if you know that uh, you sometimes get tricked on that so just letting you know but um, as I said manufacturer websites sometimes even foreign languages it's good to have some language skills or so, uh, Google Translate at hand can be a big help in tracking down uh, at least current good choices. However, if you want to go for, let's say you want to get a jersey from 10 years ago. Now, uh, that is a little bit trickier because current jerseys are rarely sold. Um, if surprisingly, if it's only a few seasons ago, you might find them on Amazon, which to me is still mind boggling because that's the last place where I actually would look for jer jerseys. But you know, I got two or three jerseys from Amazon and they were uh, all right. I got the current Milan jersey, I got the current uh, Atlanta, Atlanta away jersey, and I keep seeing they have, they're have they selling some older jerseys. So I'm always amazed uh, about uh, that certain things you can actually get from Amazon. That's uh, at least a positive surprise because I wouldn't have expected that. And usually you get also relatively good prices there. Now, a natural option would be eBay, but beware, I have rarely gotten good stuff on eBay. Uh, and it's because it's full with fakes out there. And you can demand as many pictures as pos possible. Um, I even... I remember once that I got a jersey, I think it was a Spain jersey, where everything looked all right. And I'm checking and I'm checking, everything lo looks all right. And I know this, this was my one, one of my first experiences on, on eBay, uh, it was a million jersey, but that is 2003. I wanted to get the Champions League winning jersey uh, with Shevchenko and you know, the number I saw, oh, this has all the holes in it. I really love, love that everything on the front looks all right. Um, yep, yeah, I'm gonna get it. And then I get it and yeah, the number Shevchenko on the back looked wonderful, but the crest did not look anything like a Milan crest that I would like to wear. Uh, meanwhile, fakes have gotten a lot better. It becomes even harder. My rule of thumb and I really, really hate I really, really hate to point countries out, but if it comes from Asia, I'm not buying it. And that includes Turkey. Turkey, uh, and uh, that even includes, I mean, uh, here in the German speaking world, you sometimes have sellers and I wanna trust them, but I have been twice fooled now with, uh, Turkish, with, with, with Turkish sellers, one from Berlin and one even from Austria. Uh, but of course you don't realize that until they send it to you and I said, oh yeah, here we are opening a fake again and then it was a fake. So, um, that's, <sighs> I hate to point it out, but everything from China, uh, when it says Taiwan qual quality and so on, this is all, uh, fakes. Yes, the fakes have become really, really, really good as of late and sometimes uh, just the material is different or, you know, there are slightly differences. I actually, uh, I kept... I have two fakes that I bought really recently that I will actually keep 
until I, you know, I come around and make my my collection replace them with the authentic ones because the fakes are good, good, good enough that you cannot really tell whether it's real or fake. And so I said, for now, all right, I'm gonna keep it that way. So eBay for me is usually a last resort and I really need to be certain I'm, and it's worth asking for more pictures for any of the online sellers for more pic pictures even asking is this their authentic uh, Adidas or Nike or whatever shirt. Um, again, if the price is good to be, to be true, it's usually too good to be true. That's what I have learned. Uh, but there are some valuable sellers out there. I just and but I'm not the person because uh, to ask there. I know for hockey jerseys, if you're interested in NHL jerseys, I know a little bit more. Uh, for soccer jerseys, I have not found yet anyone that I personally would like, to be honest, or that I would like to recommend because I have not found it yet because I don't go there. The overwhelming jerseys that I have bought over the past two years, and we're talking. Um, 40 jerseys and yes there were two fakes in there uh but those were the only two yes the the only two the rest all legitimate i went to the local flea market market page here uh second hand jerseys people who want to get rid of their jerseys and for two reasons this works a it is unbureaucratic, B, it is very uh, obvious to ask for more uh, pic pictures there if they're not out there. Um, it is local, so uh, I know the postage will not kill me. It's usually between three or five euros in, in, in addition. And they will send, uh, and it will arrive quickly. Sometimes I can even pick it up in person and have a look, uh, have a look at it. So uh, those are all positives. And um, the biggest one is that in many cases, um, people do not know the actual value of the shirt. I still cannot believe that I got the Brazil 93-94 home jersey for like, uh, I think it was 17 euros or something like that. Uh, I typically get, I look at the listings and look what is 20 euros or, uh, or 30 euros and less and pick out and make a huge wish list and then I go back, I go back, I go back. Some sometimes sells out, some, some sometimes doesn't. Sometimes the price drops. The Mefica jersey started out, I think, at 40 euros. I would not have bought it. And then suddenly I see it drop at 30 and I said, ah, the seller is willing to drop the price. Once it hits 20, I remember this was early, 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 early November in the morning. I opened my phone and I see the price on this jersey has dropped. And at that moment I said to my wife, I know, I promise not, but I need to get this one. 89 Befica jersey. Yes, it's not perfect. Yes, it has some flaws uh, on the back with the printing. The jersey is gorgeous for 20 euros and absolute steel. Um, also, if I want to, you know, fill in, uh, for instance, for Bundesliga jersey, I don't want to spend a fortune. Uh, I'm not that much into German uh, teams. So, since Austria is close to Germany, it's very uh, good to get it. Sim similar uh, almost with pre Premier League jerseys. Uh, although I think this one I got through, uh, that page, uh, the Newcastle one I also got, this, and uh, this Liverpool jersey. Ah, yeah, and the other Liverpool jersey as, uh, as well. All those I got. Uh, I think each of them were 15 euros or less I got through there. So uh, very happy to have that page. So uh, absolutely. This is my uh, go-to at the moment. I know listings change. Some, some, sometimes hurts if something goes away, but um, and sometimes you can't even haggle for the price. But it's not my deal. And then the last uh, thing that I can recommend, and I do frequently, although you don't find that many, many deals. Sometimes you do. So of course, classic football shirts. I love classic football shirts. I buy much less from them than I actually thought I did. I have, I think, only bought 16 jerseys from them, but still. Uh, if you want to have something particular, they usually have it and, they, and if you know it's authentic, you know it's good. I know you pay a premium for really rare jerseys and I 
think I've rarely done that. I actually look usually, usually, usually at their deals, especially at the moment where my collection is at a point where I want to get as many uh, English teams, as many Italian teams, as many uh, Spanish and as many German teams, and especially for Italian teams, you can get uh, good prices and, and also some English teams. This uh, Crystal Palace shirt here, I think they sold it for, uh, was it 12 or 13 pounds? I just added it on because I, I, I was ordering. I said, not that I care anything about Chris, Crystal Palace, but uh, the jersey looks cool. The price is good. Let's get it. And uh, that's how it, how, 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 how it happened. For me, it's always when the classic football shirts parcel arrives. This is one of my favorite days. And, um, they also get some really nice rare jerseys like from Africa or so on that you usually do not get otherwise. So for me, classic football shirts, look at the sale. Some, some, sometimes they send you a weekly newsletter with Walt, the Walt was on sale, you can pounce there. They have, I think, three or four times a year, they have the 20% off. This is usually the time when I'm you know, like a Black Friday or some stuff like that. This is when I'm pouncing uh, and then I look at some shirts. Also, they make a wish list there. Um, and see whether it's still available when it's there or not. I know I missed out on the Denmark shirt the other uh, the last time they had this 20% sale. Well, I got a Finland shirt, which I think is even cooler. So, yep, these are my uh, things. I mean, um, the last thing I want to say, up until recently, I usually bought the jerseys um, almost for full price and uh, most of the, uh, some, some, sometimes when, when I see on a sale, when I say sale 50%, um, I remember when I was living in America, that's worldsoccershop.com, uh, that I ordered quite some stuff and also on sale, especially towards the end of the season. I know I, re I remember the first Argentina jersey I got through them, so that, that was a cool thing. Then I've also found a UK soccer shop, but I have to say I'm never happy with their sales because they don't go down by a lot. And then they keep also a lot of old jerseys. And what I hear recently, uh, they're not as reliable anymore. Although I really was intrigued by their mystery shirt, but I, when you read online reviews, I'm wary at the moment of buying from them. So yeah. Um, the biggest deals are usually found then in Austria up until Reese. Recently, when there was a big international tournament, you could get the team, the jersey of the teams that got eliminated for half price. Yeah, in 2018, this is how I got uh, the white England jersey uh, from that World Cup or Uruguay uh, and Belgium. You look at the sales rack, rack and uh, see what you can get. Uh, but those were kind of the big deals back then. Nowadays, uh, I think it's really worth it of checking second-hand sellers. I think uh, Depop is one that comes to mind. As I said, stay away from... I stay away from eBay. If you have a good way of telling whether something is fake or not, maybe eBay is worth it. But I typically stay away from eBay. So yeah, I have had many questions of how do I get the jerseys uh, cheap. I make myself the rule 30 euros is the max unless it's something special but if i want to just get a jersey of a team yes i want to have it nice looking yes i would have liked to get a blue less 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 the jersey that i got this from soccer uh, from classic football shirts but you know it was they put it on sale and i said okay i'll take it so um 30 euros is kind of my benchmark i usually try to pay less um and then wait Wait, be patient. It might come, 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 come around. Uh, Second-hand sellers are uh, very much recommended. And end-of-season sales. End-of-season sales can be a really good thing. Um, I know that sometimes it's not that easy. I mean, uh, find, good luck finding an Atalanta jersey in my size at the moment. They are all in small sizes. I found one. I probably would have, would have bought a different one uh, if I had the chance, but I Atalanta jerseys, for instance, I cannot find for cheap. So um, sometimes it doesn't happen. But of the big teams, you usually can get it for rather decent price. Well, let me know in the comments below where you buy jerseys. When do you find, if you find this information useful, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did. Here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.